KOK World Series 2018, we are live, ladies and gentlemen, next KOK Super Fight, Blue Corner, fight representing Turkey, Erkan Varol. Well, I mentioned earlier that the Turkish fighters really have a lot to prove here, given on how huge KOK is. I can't really put it into words for you to describe how incredibly popular KOK is right now in Turkey. Well, thus far, the Turkish fighters, not a very good showing of themselves. Now, originally, Fatih Mehmet Karakus was scheduled to face Sergei Maslaboyev in the main event. He pulled out of the fight two days before. Uh, and then in that MMA contest a few moments ago, Yeltsin Bayram, I, I still haven't figured out what happened with him where he just kind of quit in the middle of the fight. Well, Erkan Verol, one of the most experienced, if not the most experienced Turkish kickboxer ever. He's had over 200 professional fights in his career. Now has a chance to redeem his countrymen and prove exactly what the Turkish fighters are all about. Not only is he uh, fighting in the ring for Turkey, but he's also the promoter Erkan on the Turkish end Varol, of things as well. Turkey. Ladies and gentlemen, red corner. Fighter representing Lithuania, Arvidas Gerbe. Arvidas Gervet of Lithuania, 25 years old. That is 12 years younger than his opponent. And 174 centimeters tall, he's four centimeters taller than Verol. This is by far the biggest matchup of his career so far. He's 13 and seven. And Verol is 180 and 36. You can't make this stuff up, folks. The experience disadvantage of Gerve is absolutely astounding. However, this, as I said, the biggest opportunity of his career. If he can defeat Verrill here tonight, he sets in the motion a lot of momentum and cements his name here in KOK as someone to take very, very seriously so far, things have not really gone his way in KOK. He's one and two in the promotion, but uh, he did come away with an incredible knockout victory in Vilnius one year ago. And we'll see if Lightning can strike twice for Thunderstruck. Arivdas Yerve. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting for the blue corner, 37 years old, official height 170 centimeter, official weight 71 kilogram, his official fight record, 180 wins, 76 by knockout, 36 losses, Iska Europe belt champion, WKN European belt champion, representing Erkan Baron fight team Turkey, Erkan Baron! Fighting for the red corner, 25 years old, official height 174 centimeter, official weight 69 kilogram, official fight record 13 wins, 5 by knockout, 7 losses, Norwegian Muay Thai champion, winner of KOK Super Fights, representing Titanus Gym Lithuania, Harvidas Thunderstruck, Garvia! Ring referee Soli Sheshkevich's KOK rules, three rounds, three minutes each. Yeah. 
Round one. Eric on Verrill is his second appearance here in KOK. Last time he was a very last minute replacement in the 77 kilogram World Grand Prix in Estonia in October, one month ago, where he lost his semifinal matchup. He does not normally fight at 77. He normally fights at this weight division at 71. But I, I like the heart of him to be able to fill in last minute. But here he's going to feel a lot more comfortable. And he's got so much experience on Gerve. It is not even funny. But a lot of times statistics can lie. Averill is also 37 years old. So he's certainly in the golden years, let's say, of his career. And uh, Gerve with a, a golden opportunity. Look at that. That was a nice opportunity here by Verrill, the shorter fighter, which he almost always is in his fights. He's a very short, stocky, thick fighter. And Arvidas Gerde. Whoa! Oh, my! Verrill telling him to bring it. Arvidas Gerde has got that more traditional kind of kickboxing figure to his body. Looks to be in fantastic shape for this matchup. Good low kick on the end of that one. Verrill checked it. I can see KOK President Donatas Simonaitas at ringside looking, looking at this one very carefully. As I said, Verrill not only fighting in the ring for KOK, but also on the promotional end of things in Turkey. Pretty soon I have a feeling these KOK fighters not even going to be able to walk down the street in Turkey without being mobbed by fans. That's just how big they are over there. Verrill now cutting down the ring and Arvidias fighting right back out. Here we go. Crowd ooing and awing here. Veril is certainly a showman inside the ring. Ho oh, ho! Oh my, I think Gerve just showed Ercon Veril the canvas. Is this thing going to continue or not? Looks like he wants to go. He composed himself well enough to keep the fight going, but I don't know how much longer he's going to last. Oh my! Gerve trying to put an end to this thing. Veril! Veril's in trouble. There's only a few seconds. Is he going to make it to round two? He is. Good Lord. What a violent conclusion to the end of round number one there. Well, I told you that Verrill has a lot of experience, over 200 professional fights, and Gerovic just over 20. So whatever kind of experience Fighters. advantage he had coming in here, he needed to rely on that experience to be able to shake out the cobwebs and compose himself enough to keep this thing going. Uh, but boy, he really got lit up there in round number one. And let's see how he's going to be able to recover. Is the veteran going to be able to make it to the end of round three or not? Boy, he looks really wobbly here. Gerve laying it on him. Vero still telling him to bring it. Well, he's hurt. You, you, you can tell that he's hurt. And he's really perturbed now, but he's still in this thing. Look at him still fighting back here. Caught him clean on the jaw and still a spinning kick to show him that it ain't over yet, pal. Oh, my. Give it, give it to him once again. 
Verrill trapped in the corner here. Jabs his way out and moves to his left. This is the classic experience versus youth. Whoa, boy, he really let him have it, and he just let go of the head right before he uncorked the knee. Verrill has been in some wars before, so I'm sure that he's, he knows what he's doing in the ring here. Certainly doesn't mean that he's going to walk out of here with his hand raised, but he's been in positions like this before, I'm sure, numerous times. He's been in the ring with the best of the best in his weight division. I'm talking about guys like Petrosian, Zambidis, Gingers Alazov, Albert Kraus, you name it. Hasn't had a whole lot of success though recently. I don't think he's had he's won a fight since 2016. But he's certainly a battle-tested, seasoned veteran who's to be taken seriously at all times. And don't count him out yet, folks, with the kind of crazy fights we've seen tonight. Do not count him out yet. If one thing is for sure is that anything is possible at any time here in KOK. We've already seen it numerous times as he was way off the mark. Hello. That one was a little bit closer, but still did not connect flush. But anytime you get cracked with somebody's heel like that, with that kind of torque on the kick, definitely got to hurt. That shot landed under the armpit, I believe. Big spinning kick that time from Verrill. May have landed in the, the right side of the body in the upper rib cage area and peppered him with a little left hand as well. There's another left hand right down the middle that time. Closing seconds now of round two. That time he got caught about halfway through now. Verrill has composed himself nicely here in round two, but there's still three minutes left to go. Take a look at some highlights of round two. Well, Verum, he did a good job there, I think, in round two, considering that he nearly lost the fight in the first round. Well, now we'll see. Well, that, that kick did connect I a did. little bit harder than I thought it did. And those are spectacular scoring techniques, folks. Make no doubt about it, which are going to do wonders for him on the cards in round two. Well, we've got a small flood in the blue corner there, which they're trying to mop up. And we will be back underway for this third final and round. final round. Is there an echo in here? Here we go. Wow, devastating spin kicks there from Ercon Verrill, the white eagle, the Caucasian eagle. That one may have strayed a little bit low. Arvidas Gierve has been on the receiving end of some crazy spin kicks there from Verrill. There's another one. Imagine how many times he's thrown that kick in the ring, in the gym. He's just got such crisp technique on that. There's a spinning back fist as well. And as I said, the scoring criteria here in KOK is number of knockdowns, which certainly goes to Gierve in round number one, 10-9. And in round number two, the spectacular techniques that are scoring, which Verrill is obviously way ahead on. Now, as far as uh, accumulative damage and normal scoring techniques, that's another conversation. Here comes Verrill now. Got his man against the ropes here. 
Nice combo there from the Lithuanian. Gets clubbed with a right hand over the top. And another big haymaker from Verrill narrowly misses the target. Scores with a jab. Gidovid does have that knockout power. As I mentioned, he scored a big KO here in King of Kings a year ago in this building. Chipping away now at Verrill in round three. One minute left on the clock. Punishing body kick scored and a right hand. Farrell hits him with a kick underneath the pectoral muscle. Push kick lands. Farrell back with a combo. Well, you got to tip your hat to Eric on Verrill here after being knocked down. He almost put the lights out in round number one. Verrill still fighting hard. But these two really going at it here toe to toe. This is a very even round here between these two. Even if Verrill wins rounds two and three, the best he can do is a draw. Crowd coming alive here. Time. End of the fight. So what's it going to be? Did Verrill do enough to force an extra round? Or is Gervit going to walk out of here with his hand raised? Well, if I were both these guys, I wouldn't take my gloves off just yet. Let's take another look at it. Round three highlights. Th that was a very even round. I'll tell you what, both guys really got their licks in in round number three. Verrill continued with those big spinning shots and Gervais just continued to chip away at his opponent throughout the round. Look at that, back and forth, tit for tat. And now there's some conversation here. Maybe there will be an extra round. Let's wait and see. To congratulate the fighters, I would like to invite official representative KOK in London, Mr. Hafiz Bashkhaliyev. Well, the London promoter for KOK, the local promoter coming into the ring here. We'll be back on the 10th of March in London. Ladies and gentlemen, KOK World Series 2018. KOK Super Fight. After three rounds by judge decision, draw. Well, he did do enough to force a draw, but they will not go to an extra round. Erkan Verrill and Arvidas Gerved fight to a draw. An incredible comeback by Erkan Verrill, and Gerved just evidently could not do enough to seal the deal in rounds two and three.